Hey guys, how y'all doing today? My name is Franchise Fanatic, and welcome back to the channel. And first and foremost, holy crap, we have the Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny official trailer. You're seeing it in the background of this video. Not going to keep you too, too long, because it's only a minute and a half, or around minute 43. But, uh, you know, so you're not seeing it a hundred times. But Jesus, man, I'm excited. Look, I have been waiting for this trailer. You guys know, I've been waiting for this trailer for, like, since 2008, basically. And uh, the fact that we have it, you know, it's kind of a bummer that it is called the Dial of Destiny. I don't know what the F that even means. Uh, I don't know if he's going to, like, dial, like, on a phone. I don't know. Dial isn't, like, an actual—I'm assuming it's an artifact, but— um, Obviously it is, but look, it just looks incredible, all right? I mean, you know, obviously the trailer leaked and all that, but there's a lot of good stuff in this trailer. First of all, it looks fantastic. James Mangold, I think, is going to knock it out of the friggin' park, right? First time not being directed by Steven Spielberg. But the action in this trailer is just on another level. I mean, it just the way it's shot and all that, I mean, it looks really good. You know, it really does. I think Harrison Ford looks good. Sala looks good. Uh, Phoebe waller fridges character. Oh, man, it looks so good. Um, my only negatives is that I'm not sure if it's like a, the, the... I'm assuming it's the YouTube compression. Um, there's a few instances, especially in like that space race looking thing um it's very pixelated like the 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 trailer is like really really pixelated really like poor quality i don't it, i'm watching it in hd it's not my computer it's not the wi-fi it's just i don't know it just looks wonky but um there is that shot of indiana jones on the horse um in the parade looking thing that looks a little fake it looks a little corny i, I don't know if that's like a, a, a head replacement um i don't know it just it looks i don't know it looks weird. Um, the the, uh, the the animation there looks a little wonky, but other than that, I think that the de-aged Harrison Ford looks <clears throat> it looks freaking flawless. I mean, holy cow! I think it's going to be a really really good time. Now look again, this guy is how old? He's like what? 80-something years old. I mean, obviously, he's not going to be doing everything, but the DH Harrison Ford looks really nice. I think that the action scenes are going to be really cool. Um, I'm looking forward to it, man. It's just, it looks very exciting. It looks incredibly fun. Uh, it's got, you know, really some good classic Indiana Jones humor, which is really cool. It kind of reminds me of, like, Uncharted, where he's like, you know, get back. And, you know, they kind of all pull out their guns, and he kind of ducks down. It's just got that classic Indiana Jones type feel to it. And I think that, you know, a lot of people are going to be freaking out. And, oh, it's Disney. Look, I'm going to drop a news bomb on these fake fans and haters. This film, like the Star Wars sequels, are not made by Disney. They are made by Lucasfilm, and they are owned by Disney. So Disney, they don't really have any, you know, they're not really making it. It's it's literally Lucasfilm doing it. And I think it looks flawless. I mean, really, like I said, well, not flawless. I think the parade looks a little wonky. Uh, Harrison Ford's, uh, it looks like a face replacement a few times, but, uh, you know, Phoebe Waller-Bridge looks cool. Everything just looks really exciting and action-packed, right? There's, like, a train fight, some tuk-tuks going on. Um, of course, that parade scene, like I said, the end after the, uh, awesome title reveal. The young Indiana Jones looks insane. Uh, I'm just... I, I'm blown away, really. I mean, I think there's going to be haters, of course, saying, Oh, my God, Disney does that. And that's my next point, is that it, it, there's a lot of these YouTubers out there that are spouting fake news and just complete trash regarding this film, right? Oh, my God, it's woke. Oh, my God, Phoebe Waller-Bridge is taking the hat. Oh, my God, Indiana Jones dies. And look, some of that might be true, right? Maybe Indy dies. But I think that... Uh, you know, I, I I don't see this film going woke. Unless Phoebe Waller-Bridge is like the ultimate badass and she's just completely wrecking everything, uh, I, I don't see that happening, you know? I mean, you can have a good female character without, um, you know, her being perfect at everything, so we'll see. But as of right now, this trailer looks awesome. There's some pixelation issues. issues. I've seen it on multiple... Um, you know, uh, videos here. Let me, let me, uh, I'm actually looking at this as we're talking, but, uh, I was on the Lucasfilm official, uh, YouTube channel. I'm now on Rotten Tomatoes. Let's see if this looks any better. It does, it looks about the same level of quality. It, I, again, I don't have bad internet, <laughs> I don't have bad internet, but holy crap. I am just so thrilled that we're getting a fifth Indiana Jones movie. Truly. I mean, it's just, it's incredible. You know what I mean? The action looks on point. The CGI looks amazing. You know, Crystal Skull came out in 2008. And one of my biggest issues with that movie, again, the Crystal Skull might be my favorite one. <clears throat> but let me just tell you, the CGI in that movie was not that good. I'm going to level with you. Uh, but it just looks incredible what we're seeing. I, I, you know, I, I'm sorry you've seen this probably four or five times in a row. But it's just a great trailer. And uh, I, of course, will have the link in the description down below if you haven't seen it. Um, I mean, you're, you've, you're seeing it now. But, you know, seeing it without me talking over it. 
But uh, holy crap, dude. I am just, I'm in love with the trailer. I love this franchise. I love all four movies, and I cannot wait for this one. Um, I think it's going to be really fun, really action-packed, and really exciting. CGI looks great. Like I said, the writing, everything looks really cool. Everyone looks like they're having a good time. Everyone looks like they're having fun. And uh, it's just, it's got that classic Indiana Jones, you know, feel to it. Um, and just, it looks great. That's all I can say. I'm happy. I'm very happy that we're getting an Indiana Jones 5. Um, I am not like those other YouTubers that are going to spout bullcrap nonsense. So if you want me to cover this film and actually cover it as we're seeing it, not, you know, making up, oh, it's woke or, you know, it's this or it's that. You know, I, I'm covering this movie as I cover everything franchise related without a bias, right? I'm not a fan of woke either, right? You guys know I'm, I'm right-leaning, but at the same time, I'm not going to go make up rumors about a certain thing just to get clicks. So if you enjoy that, make sure to subscribe. Again, like this video if you enjoyed. Again, you're probably seeing this like six or five times at this point, but I am very excited. I cannot wait to actually uh, you know, watch the film, cover more of it, and hopefully get a longer trailer soon because holy crap, this is incredible. And uh, the Dial of Destiny looks insane. Tell me in the comments down below what you guys think. And uh, we also have Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 trailer, which that will be the next video coming up, so make sure to look out for that. Again, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny comes out, let me see, uh, June 30th, only in theaters. I cannot wait for that. It's going to be insane. And uh, let's just hope it uh, you know lives up to the hype. But as this trailer has shown so far, I'm pretty sure it will. Thank you guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Get back.